I'm Michael Johansson. I'm head of the sensor systems and the C4I solutions business within Saab. Uh, here in Singapore Airshow this year, we have launched the all-new Airborne Early Warning and Control, uh, the, what we call the Global Eye. It's a new multi-role and also swing-role systems. We have now evolved to implement several sensors on a new platform, which gives you the endurance of more, more than 11 hours in the air on station, and you can also go between different types of missions from a surveillance type of missions and then go down and have a more detailed mission doing MPA and ground-based detailed reconnaissance. We have a completely new uh, uh, sensor suite on this, an all new radar which have the latest technology giving you a 70% increased range and seeing much detail in there like low observable targets like stealth fighters and also UAVs. We have also included now an MPA type of radar and electro-optical type of sensor. So we do all this sensor fusion in the aircraft in a completely brand new C4I system. We have five operators in the aircraft and uh, they see the sensor image here, all of them, and they get the same possibility to review the fused image of all sensors as well. The capabilities is of course to surveil a wide area coverage in the air uh, and also to do the same on the ground and at sea. You can see everything from jet skis to uh, periscopes on submarines on the sea. You can see ground moving vehicles uh, on the ground of course and you can get SAR images also from the radar on the ground. It gives you more than 11 hours in the air uh, and uh, has a wide range coverage of course. This is now a multi-sensor platform, uh, which uh, we used to start with an airborne early warning and control type of platform, which we have on several platforms around the world. We have more than 20 aircrafts and systems sold in more than eight countries. We have them on the Saab 2000, the Saab 340 and the Embraer 145. We now have uh, combined the different roles into the new platform, so we have taken a step in a multi-role and a swing roll system. So we have several sensors on the same platform, giving the return on investments for the customers uh, is higher than doing all the type of missions on one and one single platform. That's one of the key benefits from going from uh, uh, sort of a, a pure airborne early warning and control system to a multi-role system where you have more sensors on the platform. It also has a passive sensor suite on the platform, so you can do wide area coverage with a passive sensor suite as well, which is a new thing. We've chosen the Bombardier because we think the platform has the right parameters when it comes to structural, uh, structural stability, but it also the range uh, of the platform is, is good and it's also a, a sort of a limit, a rather small platform. We like to have sort of a small operational footprint, but still a multi-sensor platform and it must give you the enough space also in the aircraft to have several operators. We can have up to seven, normally you would need four to five to do this type of mission or to do a multi-role type of mission uh, uh, exercise. So uh, we did a thorough assessment of different platforms and we came up with this giving you speed to where you have to be on station, giving you a long time on station and then speed going back home uh, after the mission. So far we've been extremely successful in the marketplace. We have uh, taken more than 50% of the market outside the US. And we think a multi-role platform will give us even more market penetration. So we have several leads in many regions. And uh, also in this region, many countries are interested in this type of capability.